Okay, so we are going to talk about uh, different displays modes for our objects in Maya. As you can see, I have a cube right here, right? So the keys that we're going to use are going to be 1, 2, and 3. Number 1 is the default view, right? This is a cube. Uh, we can work on it by holding the right mouse button, going to our component modes, right? And modifying our cube, whichever way we want. Now, if I hit the number two, this is what we call cage mode. Okay, so you have the cage, which is the shape of the original cube, and then inside of the cage, you have what's called the smooth preview. Now, if I go right mouse button and select one of the vertexes on my cage, right, when I move it, you will see how it interacts with the smooth preview. Now let me get out of here, right mouse button to object mode, and if I select my object and I hit 3, this is what we call the smooth preview mode, okay? Now let me go back to number 1, 2, and 3. As you can see, my object is shaded with what we call the default shader. A shader is a material that we can assign textures and things like that in Maya. Right now we are in our regular shaded mode but if I was to hit 4 we're gonna go to what's called wireframe display okay and again the icons are right here in the menu bar for our viewport and remember if I hit the space bar you will notice that every viewport has its own menu panel let's go back to the 3 quarter and again 4 is wireframe next to the wireframe display we're going to have what's called the smooth shade all. So if I hit 5, we will have the default shader on our object. Now, if we go to 6, we will preview the texture of our object. 6 is right here, texture. Now, if we go 7, right, we will see what this object looks like when it's lit. If I go to Windows Outliner and I select my spotlight and turn it off by lowering the intensity down to zero you will notice that there is no light this is the default setting in Maya we can use this setting right here to look at the silhouette of our design alright so hitting 7 will take you to the lighting mode which is right here use all lights okay so I'm gonna go back to 5 and another great tool is what we call the wireframe unshaded. Okay, so when I click on it, it will display the wireframe on my shaded object. Another display mode that I use a lot is called the isolate selected. So for example, if I have more than one object in my scene and I want to isolate my cube, I would select my cube right here and this icon right here called the isolate selected when I click on it it will hide everything in the scene except for what I selected the cube in this case and to bring everything back I would select the cube again and then deselect isolate selected and the last mode that I like to work with it's called the x-ray so for example if I select my object and I go to this icon right here on the right hand side it will say x-ray so when I click on it as you can see my object gets this shader that looks like an x-ray so I can see in the opposite side of the object if I have multiple objects everything will be x-rayed and this is how you use the display modes in Maya for a more efficient workflow